All right, here I am in the backyard. Got the retort full of wood. Tap down over on top of my retort. Um, so, I'm gonna line it up. So excited to um, try this thing out. I didn't cut up any wood. So, the trick is we got to get the fire going sideways. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop something on fire and chimney. Heat to draw up. It starts the heat. It starts the starts the fire going sideways. See that? As you can hear it. Now I just got to get a good fire burning in here and we'll see how it goes. Time now is 6.30 p.m. See how long it takes for this baby to turn into charcoal. My whole objective here is to try and be able to make charcoal within two hours. So I already have a retort that I can make charcoal in an hour and a half. It's small. It makes about three pounds of charcoal. And I'm trying to fix this camera here. I'm trying to increase the size so I can make more. The, so the whole idea behind my efficient retort is to be able to make charcoal fast and efficient. Well, good people, it looks like um, the retort is burning properly, but let's see if it'll generate the amount of heat I need to make some charcoal, All right? Get that steel glowing red. I know it's hot now. Just gotta wait for that retort to reach the right temperature and it'll start off gassing and I hope them little spot wells uh, that I put on there <laughs> just to hold it together so I can test it out can handle the heat. I got some sawdust on the ground. It's burning the sawdust. Boy, look how glowing red under there. Whew. Check this out, people. Good, happy people. I got fire coming out the top of the chimney. That chimney is a good four feet high. Including what's in the retort. It's probably about... That's nah, probably a good three and a half. So it's probably a good. Well, I'm five foot eight, and it's about five five feet total from the bottom up where the fire is coming out. So that's a good sign. So that means we're generating some serious heat, and we should have some charcoal, hopefully in about two hours. So I put some. That gray stuff you see around the wells 
that's fire brick sealant. So I put that around all the openings just to kind of make them airtight for right now until I go back and seal them all the way. But um, this baby is rocking and rolling. It's been burning now a little over about 40 minutes. So that's a good sign that we got fire coming out the top within 40 minutes from red hot steel. All right, the fire is not going sideways very much. But we do still have some flames coming out the top. Which means the gases are probably being released. It's only been about an hour now. So I'm just going to let this wood burn down before I put any more in there see what happens boy that steel is blowing up something still getting some fire out the top I was standing pretty close to it but uh, I'm getting ready to back up now because I think it's getting ready to off gas All right, good people. It's it burned for about an hour, fifteen minutes or so, and as you can see, it is dark out here. Got a little fire still in the basket. I may go down and put some more wood in there and let it burn a little bit longer. But I am exhausted, so I am going into the house and turning in. Um, no, I am not concerned with this about this um, blowing up or causing a fire. All right, everybody, I'm getting ready to you. It's the next morning. I'm getting ready to open this baby up. See what's in there. And um, so, let's see what we got. Everything burnt down the ass, I mean, that's real. Take off my extension plate. Now, it only burned for um, an hour, a little over an hour and 20 minutes. No, 15, 20 minutes. Based on what I see, looks like I'm going to need about maybe another hour. So I'm going to clean the retort out, get it set back up, and burn it for another hour. sideways so all I have to do is get me that's all it takes it's 
so I got a good fire going and I started the timer on my phone. So what I want to do is I want to time to see how long it takes to get the retort up to temperature. Because then I'll start to see, then I'll, you know, start a separate timer at that point to start timing how long it takes to cook the wood. Because right now this is nowhere near cool. The heat stack is like that's like 350 degrees already. It's probably hotter than that, but and this is getting there. This is probably about 200. No. And this is probably like about 150. And this, the side, the tank where the wood is, the oven, it's it's still cold to the touch. So I want to see how long it takes this to get up to temperature. Okay, so the oven took about 40, 45 minutes to get up to temperature. So now I'm timing to starting the timer to see how long it takes to make the truck work. So remember first run, it was about an hour and we got about halfway there. So I'm gonna run it for another hour. Um, I think paralysis didn't quite start. I'm not sure, cause I can't, I didn't hear it. And I went to bed early last night because I was exhausted. So, but and excuse the noise in the background. My neighbor's has his um, leaf vac going, cleaning leaves out of his yard. It's fall here in Georgia, so leaves are falling. But um, so yeah, I'm gonna see how long it takes now to cook the charcoal. Talk to you later. All right, good people. It is now off gassing because there is very little fire down there and as you can hear if you can hear it has that jet engine sound that means the wood is producing gas that's coming through the little orifices the little inlet holes I have drilled into the pipe and it's shooting up the chimney and it is off gassing. I put these little two pieces of steel here and what I'm getting ready to do is put this tube on top of that so I can put some longer wood in there and let it just kind of self feed because I'm going to go run to the store. <sighs> All right, let's see what we got back here. I know um, I got a mess back here I need to clean up. but. Plus a bunch of yard work I need to do. Having a full-time job and my boys have a lawn service that I help them run on the weekends and sometimes weekdays after school. And then ministry, the most important thing. My yard suffers. But let's see what we got here. Partial success, partial success. The smaller pieces, this could have used about another 30 minutes. 
look at that. I have two pieces in here that the heat really, this was in this one. So the, the bottom part is not quite hit paralysis, but the top did. So the heat, when I checked the temperature, it was really hot at the top. So all the, all the, um, all the wood that was at now the bottom, which is the top, when you turn it over, all of that turns into charcoal. I got about I got about a eighty-five percent yield to it in terms of the charcoal. Two pieces didn't quite get there, so it ran for about two. Maybe two and a half hours. You know, cook for three. And my temperature kept, I kept getting distracted. Plus I was tired, so. Um, so let me show you what I got. So everything at the bottom turned to charcoal. That didn't quite make it. This almost made it. And then I'm going to break off the pieces that are. Um, this didn't quite make it. So I'll put that back in. This one, almost, but not quite. So I'm setting this one up so that I can put larger pieces of wood in, which means from, from this experiment, or this trial run, looks like I'm gonna have to leave it in there a little bit longer. So take this piece, for example. The top almost got there, because as you can see, didn't quite get there, so. I figured about three hours, which is still good for a retort. So I figured about three hours and I would have perfect batch of charcoal. Looks like I got about all the rest of that down there. Well, that piece didn't quite make it. But all the rest of that is charcoal, so... Um, hey, it was partial success, so I figured about three, three and a half hours, this would have been a, a perfect batch. Um, well, thanks for watching, guys. Listen, uh, this is the Minister Man Outdoors, and I appreciate you guys taking time watching my videos. Um, please do like and subscribe. I'm going to go ahead and try and turn this into a revenue generating channel, so I need as many viewers and likers and subscribers as well as we can get but um remember treat people the way you want them to treat you and not the way they treat you all right see you next time